It is estimated that the cave is two to three million years old. The man who discovered the cavern, Randy Tufts, says it is pristine, like the surface of the moon. Tufts says the first footprints in the cave, made by him 14 years ago, are still there. I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it at all. I mean, we'd been hunting for so many years and had never found anything up to that time. Uh, it was uh, something that took a while to sink in. Well, unless you can implement a, 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 something like state parks, the way to protect it is through secrecy. And uh, it was pretty easy to just not talk about it. But now the secret is out. The existence of the cave has been announced. The caverns are located in the Whetstone Mountains, just a few miles outside of the community of Benson. The caverns are destined to become a major tourist attraction, and there is no question that they will dramatically impact the community of Benson. The question is how Benson will deal with its economic good fortune while at the same time guarding the integrity of the caves. It's obviously going to change from one of uh, moderate, uh, moderate tourism to one that is, is focused on tourism. Dick Ferdon is assigned to guard the cave. Uh, just trying to protect it. It's too valuable a resource uh, to have it vandalized. But being the guard does not necessarily mean a trip inside the cave, not yet anyway. My turn's coming. <laughs> there is, of course, a lot of work that must be done before the caverns can be accessible to the public. We're going to be studying the the climate of the cave, the environment of the cave, because we have to preserve that. That's what indeed keeps the cave living as we know it. Karchner Caverns is named for the family on whose land the cave is located. Soon the cave will belong to the state, and in a special way to those whose lives will be most impacted by it. <laughs>